it is Kat. And I'm Amber. And we are Wondering Soup, Black Lesbian Expats. And that little tagline, just to let you know what we are doing. Who we is. That's right, what we about. Anyway, today, tonight, because it's nighttime here in Hanoi, we wanted to talk about things that we miss about the U.S. Five things. Struggling. Struggling. Five things. For me, anyway. So, Amber's going to start out, and I'm going to chime in. So, there's one that's easy. It's not a struggle at all. And that you can tell by looking at some of our videos. And what I miss is... The barbershop. I miss oh. the barbershop. I miss, I definitely miss my barber, obviously. Right. right. As she throws her long, luxurious hair. Long hair, don't care. I miss my barber who understood when to just take off a little bit and not to just to completely take everything mm -hmm. off. I miss. Yeah. And there's something about just the barbershop that it's the barbershop. I miss it. So, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Uh, what do I miss about America that I can't get here or in Southeast ovens? You don't realize how much you bake, or I bake, because I'm a cook in the family. I mean, you can get a toaster over here. And that's pretty much about it. Oh, you're saying the oven? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I said, though. You I'm sorry. Say oven? You mean you sitting too. right next to me, you hear me say oven? She got, you know, it's the long hair behind her. <laughs> That's what it was. Oven. As an American who likes to cook and who really doesn't even think about baking. I love to bake and I can't do it here. I can't even really bake like chicken, mm -hmm. stew, I mean anything. Anything that brownies, anything like that. It just isn't gonna work out well. But again, long hair don't care. So. <laughs> we make do, I guess. We do, we have a convection oven. It's not really a convection oven, it's really a big toaster oven. And so I do bake in that. When I say bake, I mean like I do chicken and stuff like that. But you have to be really careful with it. It only goes up to 230. It cooks from both top and bottom at the same time. It doesn't differentiate. It doesn't let me do one or the other. I mean, it's not the great. It's not the best. And that's just in Vietnam. Um, in Malaysia and Cambodia, we had a really small one that sat on the countertop that, you know, you could basically put like this much in as it to, to do something. And, yeah. yeah, so you can heat up stuff. That's about the sum total of it. But now we got fried bread, y'all. That has nothing to do with the oven, though. I know, but we don't need the oven for that. But it has nothing to do with the oven. Oh, well, I can't help it if I'm excited about fried bread. But what, five things. Let's keep focused. Are we listening this time? I'm listening. Okay, your turn. <laughs> um, libraries. I am a book person and I am a communal, I'm communal with my book love. So I feel like share, everyone share. Um, plus I used to work in a library. So, and American libraries are awesome. You can do everything. You can get you a nap. You can get on a computer. You can meet your little friends. You can do all kinds of stuff at the library. So I miss American libraries, public libraries. Yeah, I haven't been to a library in years. So I have a Kindle and a bookstore. And I'm good. But hey, more power to you. It's and have a laptop. It's not. It's just not. I don't like used books. Uh, people have germs and stuff. Especially now. Every day. Every day. But people do stuff with books. You. Um, one other thing that I miss about America. I'm not we're not gonna even talk about family, because obviously we miss our family. Um, but I will say that since I've been here, I've communicated more with my mother than I have at any point in my life. Uh, we generally speak at least once a day, at a minimum. Even if it's only just to say, hey, bye girl, and stuff like that. So it's not family for me. Um, I think I miss owning and operating a car a little bit. And grits. But that's, that goes back to the oven, I guess, in the fry bread. But um, yeah, here we uh, Uber or Grab to get everywhere. And, um, you know, it's annoying a little bit to always have to plan an outing, uh, pay for an outing, and think about an outing well before you actually leave the home. Well, the weather's bad, you gotta think about standing outside, waiting for the car to pick you up. You gotta wonder what kind of car you're gonna get, what kind of driver, are they gonna be a good driver? And that's very hard to be a good driver in Vietnam because no one's a good driver um, at all. 
and things like that. So yeah, I think I miss own number in a car. I don't miss a car note. And nor do I miss car insurance. Nor do I do I miss maintenance on the car. I just want to grab some keys, get in the car, and go. I'm and come good. Back. I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad I don't have to think about a car, wonder where it's at, anything like that. All those things you just mentioned, insurance. I'm I'm good. I got feet. If I want to go somewhere, I miss the grids. American grids. Are you listening? What's grids have to do with cars? I know, but I miss yeah. grids. I miss a good American breakfast, right? There's no such thing as an American breakfast. There's a sure. British breakfast, which a lot of countries in Southeast Asia duplicate. This right. is just an ad. And um, yeah, so it's, it's like baked beans, toast, grilled tomatoes, um, some English bacon that's cut a little bit different. It's not like American sliced bacon. And uh, tea, of course, or coffee. And there's something else on there, some kind of potatoes or something. But it's just, it's a lot. And it's nothing that I want. Mm. I want some grits, some scrambled eggs. Oh, there's eggs on that too. Some grits, some scram scrambled eggs, some bacon. That's all. Yeah. Some pancakes. Yeah. You know, you can't even find pancakes mix here. I mean, I know you can make pancake mix, but I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. Anyway, last thing. Oh, was that it? Was that a combination? Well, you're, you're, you're vegan ish. -ish. So breakfast would be hard for you, right? Um, yeah, not, I mean, I, I kind of miss breakfast places. That's a good one. Too. Even though I couldn't really eat everything there, I still miss breakfast places. Like, mm. oh my gosh, just Waffle House. Just, yeah. you know, even the, and the nicer ones, obviously, that are for brunch and things like that. Like, you just don't, I miss that, that culture. I miss brunch. Yeah. We went for brunch the other day. Yeah. Uh, and it was great. It really was. Just to say we're at brunch, because it was like 1.30 in the afternoon, which is perfect time for brunch. And obviously, we weren't the only ones who were thinking it, but um, because the restaurant was full of foreigners, right? Yeah. Yeah. Only locals were people who were working there. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. It wasn't the best restaurant in the world, but it was brunch. And it's the first brunch we'd had in four months or so, four or five months. Oh, yeah. Yeah, usually four or five months. So, it was, it was nice. Anything else that we miss? I don't. Think so. Wow. I mean, there's a, there's a couple no. more things now, but I mean, nothing that I like wake up at night thinking about. Right. That's what I'm saying. But, there isn't much to miss about America. That's what we were really saying. I mean, I really, um, yeah. We elderly miss. black people. I meant to mention that. Oh, okay. Elderly I love black, black people. I love black people and I want to see my people. But you do get to see younger, more mobile black people when you're moving around in right. other countries. You don't get to see as many elders. And I appreciate <laughs> my elders and I miss them. So, yeah, you don't see a lot of us in general. I mean, right. and when we see each other, we're always like, hey, right. sis, hey, brother. Ride my bike. Like, right. You know, when we were in Cambodia, <laughs> man. Every time we saw somebody black, we'd holler. You know, I remember in particular, I saw this sister girl walk in. And we were driving by in a tuk tuk, and I, I mean, a tuk tuk, and I hollered, Hey, sister girl! And she hollered back because she was happy to see me too. She did. So, <laughs> if you're out there, sis, what's up? Yeah, bro? you know, but yeah, so, yeah, you don't see black people too much. I think we've seen maybe three or four black people since we've been in Vietnam. Yeah, him on one hand. Yeah, uh, three or four, that's about it. Yeah. yeah. More in Malaysia, but they were more African. And then in Cambodia, it was a lot of tours. Uh, and uh, a few black people actually lived there too. So yeah, there are not a lot of us. Thailand, you can definitely find a lot of us there for some odd reason. There's a lot of us there. And different parts of Vietnam too. We're just in Hanoi and there's not a lot. So summing all that up to say, there's not much we miss about America. There's not much you're gonna miss about America. Once you take that leap of faith and fly, uh, if only for six months to a year. It doesn't have to be forever. But it's, uh, it's an experience that you will never, ever forget. And that's what I think this video is really trying to... What we're really trying to say in this video. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think you're always going to miss some things when right. you go from one place to another. And it's okay to embrace that and go forward. And think about the memories that you'll be able to take with you. And bring back with you. Where we go back to, so. Yeah, and you may go back to America, you may not. You know, it's a great time. 
Anyway, I am Kat. I'm Amber. And we are Wondering Soup Black Lesbian Expats. And this is our video on five things we sort of maybe miss in America. Always remember to subscribe, like, and follow us. We have a blog, www.wonderingsoup.com. Also, subscribe on YouTube, Wondering Soup. You can find us on IG, underscore, Wondering Soup, underscore, well, I'm sorry, Wondering underscore Soup. Yeah, so that's some three ways to find, follow, like, share, support us on our journey. And we've had a blast. This is our year long anniversary this month. So, yeah, expect a lot of videos. And uh, again, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next video. Peace and love, y'all.